I started high school fresh out of quarantine and going in I had absolutely no idea about anything I was doing but that's what I'm here for I'm here to help y'all so here are my high school tips coming from a senior I separated it into three categories we have hygiene school life and social life we're gonna start with hygiene first hygiene tip is something I cannot stress enough shower daily you should always be showering daily whether it's at day or at night shower at least once a day minimum once a day you wouldn't want to go to school and then you start smelling yourself and it's smelling a little unpleasant and you wouldn't want somebody else to smell you smelling a little unpleasant you should always 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 be showering at least once a day it's really important not even just to save yourself embarrassment but it's also important to take care of your body always shower daily next thing is to keep a hygiene bag what i mean by a hygiene bag is like keep a little pouch in your book bag or in your purse with deodorant pads gum feminine wipes all things like that because it really is important i cannot stress this enough how many times somebody has came up to me asked me for deodorant or lotion or a pad and i just have to tell them like oh i don't have it because i don't keep a hygiene bag on me but you all definitely 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 should always keep a hygiene bag you never know when that time a month will come or when you'll leave the house too fast and forget to put on deodorant or lotion keep a hygiene bag that is going to save you a lot a lot a lot of trouble the last tip that i have in the hygiene category it kind of goes along with keep a hygiene bag keep gum and mints keep gum and mints you're going to be snacking a lot throughout the day you're going to eat lunch and you don't want to be in people's face with your breath smelling like tuna fish and egg sandwich so definitely keep some gum and some mints y'all could keep a little mini toothbrush that comes with toothpaste in your hygiene bag just keep some gum keep some mints don't be in my face with your breath stinking not to be mean but nobody likes a person with bad breath now we're gonna get into school life first question is is high school more difficult than middle school me personally i wouldn't say it's harder it's really more of a shift in environment both my high school and my middle school were small schools so it wasn't like I had to make this big dramatic change. But what I did notice is your work will hold a lot more weight. The work isn't more difficult per se, but it definitely holds a lot more weight because now everything you do is going towards what college you want to get in, what you want to do with your life. So it holds more weight, but it's not more difficult. Should you take dual credit classes? My high school, I have to take either college courses or do a trade in order to graduate and i honestly i really really do recommend it like it's really fun it kind of gets you prepared for the college life if you want to go to college and i definitely do recommend it it'll set you up good in life it'll look really good on your transcripts but if you ever feel like it's too much and you can't handle it then don't do it don't force yourself into it but if you would like to do it and you start and it's easy for you and you enjoy it then you should keep going but don't keep doing it if you're failing your class and you're not doing good in it and you're not driven because that will reflect bad on your transcript but i definitely definitely do recommend it for me i took college classes my sophomore year and i did online and i wasn't that good in online college classes so i prefer to do them in person and my in-person college class was a lot easier but college class just weren't for me so i did end up transferring to cosmetology and i love it i really recommend it but if you can't do it and it's not for you don't try to force it it's not a necessity how do you stay organized i'm gonna tell y'all right now that really long list of school supplies i give y'all at the beginning of the school year it's unnecessary i still have my school supplies for my freshman year in 2024 majority of the classwork and stuff it is electronic so having 12 notebooks and three different binders and graph paper and all that is really really is unnecessary i would say get like two notebooks two folders pencils pens you don't need to overdo it don't overdo it your book bag does not need to weigh 50 pounds at all but to stay organized i would say put yourself on a schedule for me I put myself on a schedule where I do my work at home and it wasn't working for me so I have a free period and I told myself every day in my free period I'm going to do my work and that got me all A's. So definitely put yourself on a schedule, see what works best for you and then continue to go along with that. Schedule is really 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 important and if you're struggling with that, my teacher told me to take I think it was either 15 or 30 
but either or it takes 15 or 30 days to make or break a habit so once you just do it do it do it and you do it consistently eventually it'll be a habit for you put yourself on a schedule and that will really help you stay organized should you take electives or extracurriculars me i did not take any electives or any extracurriculars the entire time i have been in high school but now that i'm a senior i definitely am planning on doing cheer or something of the sort when i go back to school in august because looking back at it like in the moment i was like yeah i don't need to do that i don't want to look at that i don't really want to do that but looking back at it it's like i would have enjoyed myself so much have i done an extracurricular so you definitely should look into it and try it out and don't knock it till you try it but if you do it and you don't like it then you can always stop next we're going to talk about school events same way that i have never done an extracurricular i've only been to one school event and that was my homecoming my freshman year and i regret that too i regret that too but my cousin she has done none of her school events and she just graduated and she doesn't regret it so it really just depends on what type of person you are but i will say try it out and i definitely am going to all my school events this year definitely do recommend it because i don't want y'all to be like me and look back and regret not doing anything while you've been in high school never skip your classes freshman year my attendance was really really bad i will always not go to school or if i did go to school i will leave really early and i would miss class and that definitely sent me back I wouldn't say I almost failed my freshman year, but I did have two Fs my freshman year and I had to rush last minute to get it up. Do not skip your classes. Don't skip your classes. Always go to class. Focus. I can't stress this enough. Always go to class and pay attention. Skipping might seem like fun in the moment, but eventually you'll see your actions really do have consequences. And you're in high school now and you don't really have... You can't really afford to make super big mistakes like failing quizzes and getting F's because that does reflect on you and it can prevent your blessings in the future. Do not skip class. Go to class. Sit there. Y'all you know, could be on your phone as long as you're in class. Don't skip class. Look up from your phone every couple minutes see what's going on. But never skip class. I'm not encouraging y'all to be on your phone. I would encourage y'all to pay attention but i'm guilty the last tip in school life i want to say it's really like a school tip but it is always have snacks always have snacks you're gonna get hungry throughout the day you're gonna be oh my stomach is so empty i'm so hungry i don't have nothing to eat get you a snack you snacking is not going to kill anybody i know like it's kind of frowned upon in class but if your teacher is talking don't snack while your teacher is talking when they're done talking Eat your snack get you a snack i stay with a snack on me i never played every day i walk in at school i have at least two i get down keep you a snack you can't really focus on an empty stomach anyway so keep you a snack the last topic of the day is social life should you date in high school i wouldn't say you shouldn't date in high school but like i told y'all i started high school fresh out of quarantine and i was kind of focused on boys my freshman year and it got me in a lot of drama messy boots down messy whole freshman year and a whole bunch of mess about a boy so i would say don't make it your main priority make sure you're doing good in your classes if you're doing extracurriculars make sure you're on top of that make sure you have your goals in life and you have your hobbies and don't make a boy first a boy is always last i don't care i don't care probably like girl hang up on you not in the mood let me exit out this video i'm serious i'm serious and i hate that i hate that as long as you're not making dating your main priority and you still have everything else in check i say you should date in high school it's a good experience it has its moments good and bad but i feel like you should just don't rush into it don't do it too soon and don't make it your main priority you make friends in high school for me i didn't really make too many new friends in high school because i still have majority of my friends that i went into high school with i know a lot of people tell y'all like you're not going to come out of high school with the same friends but i'm coming out of high school with the same friends but to make friends just put yourself out there don't be scared i'm like oh, that's the popular girl like i'm scared i don't want to talk to her she might bite me nobody's gonna bite you don't be scared like speak up for yourself like oh i like your hair i like your story did you hear oh da 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 did my hair oh, i'm gonna book her we should hang out sometime da, da, da. like the more you talk to a person the more of a connection y'all build and then eventually y'all become friends like People used to compliment my hair. I used to compliment them on theirs. And now we're spamily. Now they're in the spam. They're my close friends. Just talk to people. 
talk to people that's the only time i can give y'all on how to make friends being friends with the popular kids isn't as important as you think once you get out of like freshman sophomore year y'all have realized popularity isn't a real thing everybody is just doing their own thing everybody is their own person everybody's just trying to get through life so don't try to make everything about being friends with popular kids like oh she's popular i need to be her friend so i can be popular and everybody like me once you get out of freshman sophomore year popularity is not a thing whoever likes you likes you whoever doesn't doesn't some people have more friends some people have less it's really not a real thing it's just a figment of your imagination about to stay out of the mix i told y'all freshman year i was messy i was messy staying out of the mix it does kind of depend on who your friends are if your friend is messy nine times out of ten you're going to be in mess because that's your friend you're associated with her so once your friend is in something you are in something don't make friends that are messy the biggest tip i can give y'all is to not gossip majority if not all the time when you gossip it's gonna get out it's gonna get out and now it's a big situation and everybody want to fight and now you're getting jumped don't gossip don't be messy don't have messy friends keep to yourself don't like keep to yourself like don't talk to people but like keep to yourself as in don't be in other people's business and don't be telling people business as long as y'all are not being messy, you won't be in mess. You will lose friends. I know y'all here all the time. You won't have the same friends you went into high school with coming out. But I'm going to tell y'all that is not always true. I still have a majority of the friends I came into high school with. If anything, we've gotten closer through high school because we went through the traumas of high school together. Yes, the traumas. High school is traumatizing. I'm going to tell y'all that now. It's a wee bit traumatizing, but it's preparing y'all for life. But... Yeah, some of y'all will have the same friends y'all came with to high school with. But y'all will not have all of the friends y'all came with to high school with. People grow apart. It's simply people grow apart. It doesn't have to be over this big mess, this big drama. But you will lose friends. That's not to say y'all will never speak again and y'all are beefing. But it's like y'all will grow apart and y'all might check up on each other every now and then. But you won't be super close with the same people you were super close with growing in. You will lose a couple of your friends. But don't let it fear you like don't take it like oh my gosh i'm gonna lose friends like nobody's gonna like me it's just life it happens is not having friends a bad thing there's absolutely nothing wrong with not having any friends me i only have one friend that goes to school with me so majority of the time i'm at school and it's just like this girl don't have no friends nobody likes her but there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that some people are just loners and they want to be by themselves and if you're like that there is nothing wrong with that. Freshman year, sophomore year, it might seem like I don't have no friends. Nobody's going to like me. Like, I look stupid. I look dumb. But like I keep telling y'all, what's important those two years is not important your last two years. It really does not matter. It's all a figment. It's all fake. Nobody cares for real. But there's nothing wrong with that. You don't want to have no friends, don't have no friends. That's up to you. Next topic is drama and fighting. Stay out of drama and don't fight. Like, Stay out of drama and don't fight. And I'm going to keep telling y'all this. Freshman, sophomore year, definitely stay out of drama. Don't fight. Stay away from boys. All of the stuff that happens that year, all of the drama and stuff, once you get older, it's pointless. I This is like my third time saying this. And you're probably like, girl, I get it. But that's really how it is. Stay out of drama and don't fight. And if y'all are going to fight, don't do it at school. Hello? Don't do it at school. Don't do it at school. Meet up somewhere else. And let it be that. Whoever wins, wins. Whoever loses, loses. 9 times out of 10, after the situation happens, you'll be thinking to yourself. And you'll just think, that was so pointless and stupid. And you'll regret it. So just don't do it. Peer pressure. Peer pressure is really a real thing. I've experienced it myself a couple times. And it could be harsh. But at the end of the day, you do not have to do anything you don't want to do. I know in the moment it might be a lot and it might feel like a lot of pressure and force on you. Like you have to do this to get out of the situation. You have to do this to get be liked. Like you have to do this. You have to do this. You don't have to do anything you do not want to do. You don't. Don't let anybody force you no matter what they say. Or you'll be a loser if you don't do this. Nobody's going to like you if you don't do this. You have to do this or I'll stop being your friend. If you don't do this, I'm going to fight you. Don't do it don't do it don't let anybody force you into anything you do not want to do especially drugs because that's how addictions are formed don't do anything you don't want to do don't let anybody force you into sex force you into drinking doing drugs force you into fighting don't let anybody force you have a strong mentality be strong in your mental 
and think to yourself i don't want to do this i will not do this don't let anybody break you down and force you into anything lastly we're gonna talk about confidence going into high school i had a lot of confidence but eventually it faded and i was in a shell and i was like i didn't want to be looked at i lost all my confidence i felt like a nobody but now i grew my confidence back up and i'm that girl confidence is really all about your mentality if you have the mentality that you're beautiful then you'll feel and look beautiful you look beautiful regardless actually but if you have the mentality that you're beautiful you'll feel it that was a lot of talking i probably never done that much talking in my life sorry for this video i hope y'all enjoyed and i gave y'all some helpful tips that y'all could use whether you've already been in high school or you're starting in august i love y'all very much as always and i will see y'all in the next one